I'm Kathleen Ossip, and I'm here on the Old Croton Aqueduct in Hastings on Hudson. Um, it's a place that's very important to me. I live about half a block down that way, and I, um, I've walked on this aqueduct so many times and almost every day during the pandemic. So I wanted to read a poem that uh, mentions the aqueduct in it, and it's called Stones. A group of women I'm a part of had a falling out or a falling apart about whether stones and rocks are alive. One woman passionately argued that they were. Others counter-argued with biological facts like breath, growth, movement, reproduction. So passionate was the woman who believed stones were alive that she left the group in anger. On leaving, she told us that her beliefs were religious and based on Native American traditions that everything on earth is alive. There is no hierarchy of being. Today, walking on the obsolete aqueduct, I met all kinds of rocks and stones. Some were embedded into the dry soil, polished by footsteps, revealing only their flat satin faces. Others were more petite, round, loose, and whimsical. Some were tiny, where does gravel end and pebble begin? Their colors and shapes were various. All seemed interesting and individual. Each completely filled the outlines of its spirit. I've noticed that debates rarely come to any conclusion. Instead, they make the outlines of division more definite and fixed. However, they are perhaps inescapable pitfalls of being alive, or at least being human. I can imagine an existence where semantic arguments, all arguments are semantic, didn't occupy such a central irritating spot where the work of soothing others was paramount. I need all the friends I can get, happy to count stones among them. 